Ciao ragazzi, lesson one of Giganti's Italian rapier program. Uh, lesson one consists of the lunge, which is the primary ability to attack your opponent. Every single attack is primarily built off the lunge. The lunge starts from Gaudi and Terza. And the important part to actually notice from our Gaudi and Terza is to not let this back knee go any further backwards than the instep. Okay? You'll see a lot of people will do this. This is wrong. They've actually gone back. Think of it more as curling yourself away and upwards to keep that knee over the instep. Okay. From our Gaudi and Terza, we start with the extension of the arm, followed by the translation of the body forward. Extension of the arm, translation of the body forward. As we're translating forward, curl the front toes up a little bit, and you'll actually feel the heel start to come off the ground. This is the mechanical clue to kick forward to the foot. So again, it's extend, translate forward with the toes curled, kick, and at this point here, we drive ourselves forward by snapping this back leg straight, effectively trying to push that foot through the floor. Ending in this position here, noticing we have our straight ground path from hand all the way down to the back foot in a line. As we've done that driving it forward, we're pulling the off hand back to the side of our head, leaving it free for us to be able to lunge. So as a sequence, it's extend, translate, kick, lunge, recover. So recovery, contrary to popular belief, is not done by pushing off this front leg. If we push off with the front leg at the moment, the force is going to go directly upwards. Hanging in space is bad. How we actually start with the lunge, according to Gandhi's instructions, is to pull the head back. And this actually pulls the weight back onto our rear leg, which then lets us use that rear leg to pull us backwards. Finally coming into our guard, the head coming back into the guard is the final part of the recovery. So the lunge, extend, translate, kick a lunge, recover. Back in the gap. That's lesson one.